Standing tall by Emmanuel Berko. She's with me with her team of actors. Hello, Emmanuel. Welcome to you. Thank you very much for coming in to speak to us, Catherine Deneuve. Also, welcome to you. Thank you for being here. Sarah Forestier. Hello. Benoit Magimel. Hello. And the young Rod Parado. It's your first time here in Cannes. Welcome. And thank you all very much for being with us. Emmanuel, how does it feel to open the 68th Cannes Film Festival? So you've just had your photo call. How are you feeling? I'm relieved. I'm always very impatient. I couldn't wait for it to happen. So here we are in Cannes. I'm very honoured, of course, that this film has been... Uh, invited to open the uh, festival. It's very, very prestigious for us. You are a filmmaker. Uh, is it important that you're a woman filmmaker opening the biggest film festival in the world? No, no importance whatsoever. No, it's the film which is opening the festival. Whether it's a man or a woman who's made that film, is irrelevant. Uh, Catherine Deneuve, you're, you're acting for Emmanuel for the second time. Symbolically, do you feel that it's uh, important uh, that uh, Emmanuel's opening the festival? Well, I don't see things that way. The important thing is that the film is being released this week, in fact, today. So it's great for us to be here. We couldn't hope for any better to support our film. Um, how do you feel this time? You've been to Cannes many times. Well, it's kind of stressful, I must admit. Always, every time. Alors, Rod. Rod, this is your first time. First film. You're opening the 68th Cannes Film Festival. How do you feel? Oh, I'm really uh, moved by it all. And I'm really happy about it. Yep. It's really, really nice feeling. Sarah Forestier, I think this is your first time in the official selection at Cannes. How do you feel? Well... Un petit coup d'adrénaline, quoi. Well, the adrenaline's yeah, yeah. pumping around the body, of course. And how about you, uh, Benoit? Do you remember your um, best actor yeah. prize yeah. here for the piano uh, teacher those years ago? Uh, Has it changed? Did it change things for you? Well, at the time, I said, well, that's very promising for the future. I was a bit doubtful. I wasn't sure how it would pan out. But uh, whenever uh, prize, uh, our authors or or actors receive a uh, prize that it doesn't guarantee that they're going to have a long career. Sometimes they can have a prize and then disappear off the off the uh, uh, stage. You've, you're all fabulous in this film. I um, was really touched by it. I've already told Emmanuel how impressed I was by the film. Her film defends the system, defends the people who work in that system. Was that your goal? Well, it wasn't a theoretical goal. It took a lot of work, uh, researching, immersion, and it re revealed to me a world which I wanted to share with the viewers. I met people, and to me, they are heroes. These uh, youth court magistrates, these youth workers, everyone who works at the juvenile courts, they're, they're all heroes to me. It's something which I observed being out in the field with them. It wasn't, it's not just a, a whim to, to pay tribute to them, it really is very sincere. I don't want to be, just to be politically correct here, it's, it really is heartfelt. I want to give this positive uh, view of an institution. It's very rare in, in film. Catherine, you agree, don't you? Yes, that's, uh, we don't see that kind of thing very often. And I too, when I went to the youth courts to listen to the hearings there, I was uh, really touched and I realised that you had to have a vocation to do that job because it is a thankless task. Yes, you went to... Uh, um, the hearings, you spoke to the families, the judges, yes, yes, on several occasions. Uh, were you hidden behind a screen? No, no, I wasn't hidden at all. The families had to give their approval. I was a bit nervous that I would create too much of a diversion, but the stakes are so high for them, for the children and the teenagers and for their parents, that they, they forget uh, that I'm there. They're concentrating on, on the magistrate, the lawyers, so that the stakes are so high for them. The future of their, of their child is at stake. 
So I got melted into the background, which was all well and good. And how was it for you, Sarah? Your role is a very strong role, a dysfunctional mother who abandons her child. You leave your son in the legal system. How did you manage to get to grips with that character? How did you work it out with Emmanuel? En fait, justement, sans trop de without, I didn't want to be too weighty in the role. This person, I don't know. The character doesn't really have a problem with her child in general. It's just in that very instant in the room with the judge. So I focused on the instantness of each reaction. And as we went on, I understood that this uh, person uh, made Emmanuel uh, laugh, and that kind of destabilized me a little bit. So she, you laughed at the, the mother? Well, it was a bit of a trap, really, because... I loved everything that Sarah was coming up with, and uh, sometimes uh, she went very far, too far sometimes, and we went back to the editing suite to, uh, to sort things out. But we pushed her in that direction, of course. And Benoit, you are so full of humanity. You're a youth worker, a very uh, touching character, a very moving character in this film. So grab a mic. Uh, did you go out and meet youth workers? How did you prepare for the role? Well, we all have our own experience in life. And it's true, Emmanuel introduced me to a youth worker. We had a, a chat about uh, our clothing, how we should dress. We weren't completely in agreement about that. But it was important to know what drives these people. As Catherine said, it's, it's such a thankless task. And while I was making the film, I thought, Goodness me, what on earth can you do with this child? It's a, it's a hopeless case. These youth workers give a lot of love. Yes, they don't give up. It's amazing. Yes, we all react like you, Rod, when you were acting. How did you manage to work that way? Because you seem like a really nice boy sitting there in your, in your smart uh, shirt. How did you manage to get into the character? Well, I had a, a coach. I learned the uh, dialogue. I understood the story, and thanks to Emmanuel, Catherine, Benoit, and Sarah also, and thanks to me a little bit also, I managed to get into it. Are you like him in real life? No, 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 I'm not at all uh, violent. He's, uh, he's, he's a nice boy in real life, but yes, the, the, uh, the script was full of violence, so I imagine it could have been a, a difficult um, first job for Rod. Sarah. We needed someone who was good deep down, because the boy in the story, Mallory, he's locked into a sort of violence. And we can see the relationship with the mother. And the mother hasn't really given the child solid basis to grow up. The love that she has for him is, is very passionate. She abandons him. It's not the cozy maternal love. And so the boy is lacking in these sentiments. He's not had those feelings. But he has got something deep down which is good and gentle. He's locked into this uh, violence. And the, and the whole goal of the film is to get him out of that, uh, that cage. And the judge and the social workers will help him. Yes, they will give him the love that they are lacking. Yes, sir. Catherine Deneuve stretches out her hand to him. Benoit's there to support him. I imagine that you also supported him in his acting. Thank you very much, all of you, for being here. Thank you, Catherine Deneuve, Sarah Forestier, Emmanuel Berko, for this wonderful film. Thank you, Rod. Benoit, enjoy uh, the festival.